welcome back to the channel but I do have to say this I don't want to sound like every other youtuber um, if you guys are new please hit that subscribe button it helps me out and it helps you guys out to get the word out on best builds and stuff like that you know help you guys level up um, gives you all the um, grinding spots and stuff like that that no one really actually knows about um, but like I said, you guys been killing it on all the Elder Scrolls videos that I have been uploading lately. Um, I've just been enjoying the game. I've had it for a while. Um, I think I had it like a year after it came out. And I've just been loving it ever since. And to all the new people that were commenting down below where Skyreach was or what my build is, this video is for you. Um, I took a portion out of my day just to make it happen for you guys because I absolutely love you guys and like I said hit that subscribe button if you want to see more and with that being said let's get straight into this video let's go here okay for the people that were commenting down below we're asking where Skyreach was it's in Kraglorn. Um you could get any type of person to help you with this as long as they have the way shrine all you gotta do is invite them to a group and they can go there and you can just go to their name and travel to them um you can get carried it's like three to four k like i said in my last video explaining this but i made this i'm making this video just so you guys can do it by yourself without wasting gold and with the right armor sets all right guys um i threw in this little clip of me helping this guy out um it's not too much, but I wanted to help him out just so he can, you know, level up. Um, I think I did one run for him, which is not insanely hard. I think it's like four or five minutes, maybe. Um, he was asking me to help, but after you get everything done and you you have, you know, your abilities and you learn your rotations down and taking the practice and, you know, putting it into the actual sky reach, then you're going to be absolutely god tier and you get a lot of XP for it. I think I dropped about 65k XP and <clears throat> let's get right into the skills alright and for the skills they're actually pretty easy and pretty simple to get used to um, the rotation is going to take some time um, first up we got mystic orb it's in the undaunted skill line I think we have to get it to level 5 or 6 um, it does 721 magic damage um, to all the enemies and then at plus if you have a teammate you can use the synergy and do an additional 4868 damage um, the flame pulsar is absolutely insane it helps you get your ultimate fast and finish off all the enemies when they're really low and it reduces all their max health by 10% for 10 seconds which is absolutely insane especially for doing sky reach with all the enemies around you all at once um, <clears throat> it's absolutely insane, especially with the blockade of fire, um, whenever you slam it down, and you do all the 841 flame damage, and the damage also depends on what you're running, you could run electric, uh, lightning staff, or you could run a flame staff, which is highly recommended, um, it does another additional 20% more damage to burning enemies, which is absolutely insane. Next up on our list, we have Lightning Flood. Um, it creates a storm, and it does like 1,188 shock damage to all the enemies for every one second for 10 seconds. If you have a teammate, they can activate it um, to do 5,089 shock damage to every single enemy around in that radius, which is absolutely insane. Comes in clutch, especially if you're running with a random and you're carrying them, but they can just activate it so you can do more damage. Um, it's very helpful in clutch times. Um, so next up, this is our ultimate. It is Fury Rage. Um, this ultimate can gather up really fast, especially with all the other abilities, and it does 6,964 flame damage. Every one second for seven seconds, it clears out ads almost instantly. Um, absolutely insane. I guess you get it like every 30 seconds while you're in the sky reach. And then so... I did leave out my square, which is elemental, <clears throat> because it pretty much just reduces spell resistance for like bosses and stuff like that, that I just use other than Skyreach. Um, I go out and do it world bosses, dungeons, and stuff like that, it reduces the spell resistance, and it just helps me kill them faster, 
since I'm, I am a all AOE build, yeah, it just comes in clutch. Next up, I'm going to show you guys where they're all located um, out the gate so you guys know what you're looking for. Um, so you got Elemental Rage on the Destruction Staff. Um, there's four of these abilities that's on my main bar that I use. Um, so it's Elemental Blockade, the Rage, and then you got Elemental, which you don't have to use. And then you got Pulsar, which is absolutely insane. Um, <clears throat> that's all in Destruction Staff, so you don't really need to upgrade anything else if you want to run for a Skyreach build. Mystic Orb is an Undaunted, so you're going to have to level that up quite a bit before you're able to use it, which takes no time at all. Um, you just got to do the Undaunted, you know, skill line and stuff like that, do the missions, and you could get it pretty fast. Um, and let's get straight into the second bar. Okay, first up on the second bar is Harden Ward. It is just your shield. Um, you're going to need to use this a lot, you know, doing Skyreach. Um, it absorbs almost 7,000 damage for 6 seconds, and the strength is capped at 60% of your max health, which is absolutely insane. And next up, we have Boundless Storm. Um, this is going to be something that you're going to need to use uh, every so often. Um, you surround yourself in, you know, electricity, damaging them for 800 damage per second for 23 seconds, and it increases your physical resistance and spell resistance by 5,000, um, and also grants you um, your movement speed being increased for 30% for 4 seconds. Um, it helps you a lot, you know, to roll out the way and stuff like that whenever you need to. Next up on our list is Bound Aegis. Um, it is pretty much another damage shield and stuff like that. It increases your block by 40% for 3 seconds so you don't get hit as hard. Um, increases your max magicka by 8% and you get minor resolve, increasing your physical and spell resistance by 1320, which is absolutely insane. Next up, we got Power Surge, you know, to use whenever you, you need to do your DPS. Um, increases your weapon and spell damage by 20% for 33 seconds. Um, and then it also heals you for a little bit um, and your allies for 2,550. And it can occur every 3 seconds, um, which is not bad. It helps you out and it helps your spell crit and stuff like that. Helps it go up through the roof. Next up is Bolt Escape, which is one of the abilities you don't really need, but as a low level and you need to get out of those quick pickles whenever they slow you down with those circles around your feet, um, you can use it to get out of the way, but it's not really necessary, but I just didn't have anything else. Uh, next up is the Absorption Field to use to you know, stop all the adds from hitting you and that you heal from it. And it just pretty much heals you and stuns all the enemy around you. That's pretty much what it does for 12 seconds. Pretty easy to get with all the ultimate um, that you gather from all your other abilities. And that's about it for all the abilities that you need to use um, for this build. And let's get straight into the CP. Alright, I'm going to go through this CP pretty fast, so stay with me. Um, the tower, uh, you're going to need to do 57 and siphoner. Um, it in, you know increases your magic and stuff like that recovery with light and heavy attacks. Um, you will do your CP depends on how much CP you actually do have and what your level is. Um, it just depends. It's different for everybody. Peas you just don't have the same CP as everyone else. And then you're gonna need a hundred for Arcanus and the Lover and 37 into Healthy. So. For healthy, you're going to need that because you're just going to need your health recovery because you will get hit a lot. Um, you ain't going to need nothing in the shadow um, because it doesn't really give you anything because you're not a tank or a night blade. Um, then you want to go to the blue and do apprentice. Um, for elfborn and elemental expert, you're going to need to put 47 in both. But as you surpass my level and go, you know, try heading for that 810 mark you will be upping it by a lot. Um, you don't really need spell erosion because you're not really using that, you're just more of time over effect. But <clears throat> it is what it is. Um, you get two little passive traits up there that increase like, your spell crit and damage and effective when you drink potions and stuff. 
um, which just helps you out a lot. You don't really need any of that in the that section. Um, for the thumb mirage, you're going to need 100 points, but you might not have 100 CP to put in that, so you just you know limit to how much CP you have. Um, for the red, you don't really need any in the steed, which is kind of useless for this build. Um, you're going to need 80 in light armor. 48 in thick skinned and 48 in elemental defender and 8 in hardy um, Those just pretty much just help you, you know, have all the damage reduction from your build um, <clears throat> Just make sure it rounds off to the nearest percent whenever you're putting your CP in if you have low CP All right, let's get to the next section Alright, for the last little section, you put 11 points in the quick recovery. It just pretty much receives your healing much faster and it boosts your health up pretty fast um, with doing with like one ability or two. Um, and that's going to be it for this whole video. And thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Here.